Send your words to various schools, send your kids to various schools, or place to realize your dreams, various schools. Send your words to various schools, send your kids to various schools, there's no other place like various schools. Hello, my beautiful students of JS2, how are you doing? Okay, I know you're doing great, I know you're bubbling, you're connecting, you're enjoying yourself. Okay. Um, the last time we met on Arabic science, we dealt with a very, very interesting topic, talking about um, people and professions in agriculture, where we have to talk about the different fields, where we can fit in if we go further to take agricultural science as a field of study, as a career pursuit. Okay, today we are going to be dealing with another interesting topic, okay, and it's... Um, employment opportunity in agriculture, employment opportunities in agriculture. What are those employment opportunities that we have out there if we finally end up, you know, going to school to read a course or to study a course in, um, in any field that is relating to agriculture. Okay, employment opportunities in agriculture, that's what we're dealing with today. Okay, now, in um, agriculture, it's in very, very, you know, it's a large, uh, major employer of uh, labor in Nigeria, in the world at large, okay? Now, we have different people working as self-employed. We have others working as um, paid employed. What do I mean by self-paid? Okay, now, if you own a farm, um, you are self-employed, okay? You're an entrepreneur, you're self-employed, all right? Okay, you can also own a farm and still empower people and make them paid, uh, they can be, uh, be on that paid um, employment. What do I mean by that? Now, when you own a farm, you employ somebody to do work for you in your farm. Well, at the end of the day, you need to pay that person. That person is on that paid employment. Okay, that person is on that paid employment. Now, you that owns the farm, you're an entrepreneur, you are on that self-employment. Okay, now we're going to be taking some few things down and uh, we're going to proceed as we explain. Yes, we're still talking about um, agricultural science, okay, and the, the opportunities that we have. And I've listed, I've jotted some things on the board. I said agricultural science is one of the subjects that prepares students to earn a living either on a regular paid job or in self employment, either on a regular paid job, like what I'm doing, I mean, I'm an agricultural science teacher, um, on a regular paid job. Okay, and I can either choose to be a farmer. It means that I'm self-employed. Okay, now many people earn a living through agriculture because it is a major employer of labor. It's a major employer of labor. Talking about selling of produce, farming, rearing of animals and all that. It's so vast, it's so wide and so many. Okay, there are several areas where a person may be employed in the agricultural sector. You could work anywhere. It's so vast, it's so wide. You can be a teacher, you can be a soil scientist, you can be uh, an animal scientist, you can be a vet doctor, you know, you can be a soil surveyor. It's so broad, in fact, so, so many opportunities await us out there. It's not, it doesn't just end in the farm. It doesn't just end in the farm. Don't be myopic. Don't let anybody cajole you and tell you that agri just ends in the farm. No, that's a lie. It doesn't just end in the farm. It's so wide. It's so, so broad. There are so many opportunities that are open out there if you study agriculture. And you will do well. I do exceedingly well. Okay, now there are two main categories. Okay, that we have in terms of employment opportunities, like I said earlier, you can either be self-employed, okay, you can either be an entrepreneur, okay, self-employed, you own the business, okay, all right, number two, paid employed, you can get a job in an agricultural firm, okay, not, not, or in, 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 in an uh, education uh, institute, all right, okay, in an organization, in a company, in an industry, okay, you can get a job and be paid, all right, and be paid. Now, if you're very red in agri, when you get a job, I tell you, I'm going to pay you very, very big, okay? Okay, so we're going to be explaining this now. Talking about self-employment, we are going to be explaining self-employment. Okay, now many small-scale and, and, and large-scale farmers are involved in self-employment, okay? You see many are involved in self-employment, like as I told you, talking about entrepreneurs, all right? Okay, now they farm to produce food crops, and not only food crops, they also produce what? Cash crops. So, so many of them go into subsistence farming and, um, and the commercial uh, farming. Okay, now, um, why some others engage in livestock farming? 
they engage in livestock farming. I want to know what I mean by livestock farming. That's very, um, uh, very of uh, animals. Okay, uh, farming, talking about fisheries also here, beef farming, okay, your apiculture, a snary, your helicopter, and your horticulture, talking about your, your gardening, your flowers. Okay, those who buy farm produce from the farmers and sell them um, to the public, and those who process the produce or engage in transporting them are also generally self-employed. Okay, they all come under this self-employed. They all come under this self-employed. Okay, now we're moving on to Okay, have one explained self-employment. Like I said earlier, we're moving on to paid employment. This one, you have to go out there and seek for a job and get paid, okay? You don't own the organization. You don't own the industry. You don't own the institution. You don't own the school. You don't own it. It's not your own, okay? Now, you've gone to school. You've gotten your certificates and everything, and you're, you're well fortified. You know this thing, and you really want to tell people out there that you know this thing, okay? And with your bargaining power, you earn more. Now, you want to go out there to get a job. So you're coming under paid employment. Now we're going to be explaining this paid employment now. We say last year farmers engage laborers, all right, tractors, drivers, technicians, and other necessary workers in paid employment. You can see that it's another form of empowerment for them to earn a living, okay? Paid employment is also available in various, um, in, in uh, available in very many industries that use agricultural products as raw materials, okay? Such employment is not only for agriculture, agriculture graduates, but virtually all fields of workers. Now, graduates in different fields of agriculture can also be employed in, okay? We're talking about federal and state ministries now. You can get employment there. Two, teaching, okay, in schools, all right? Um, three, agro-allied industries. Uh, number four, research institutes. Number five, all organizations that uh, having agriculture as part of their interest. So with this, now you've seen that opportunities out there are so wide. The opportunities out there are so wide. It's not just I carry my cutlass, I carry my whole enter the farm, I dig the soil and up, you know, and that's what um, my place, they call this of a head work. No, it's not like that. So you see that you have opportunities out there. You could work in industry, in organizations, you can be an analyst, you can be a scientist, you can be, you know, Consultants make it big and big time. Okay, so those are the employment opportunities we have in agriculture. I'm just going to be putting a few questions on the board, talking about our assignment as usual. You know, I can't leave you alone like that. Nah, nah, nah. I can't leave you alone like that. I have to give you something to do. Okay, let's take our assignment now. Okay, we have our assignment on the board, and number one question, and the question as to babies, all right? Okay, the major, the, the top heading of the question is explain the following. Okay, these are the babies, okay, don't laugh. You say self-employment, self-employment, okay? Number two, paid employment. I want you to explain for me. You follow my lectures very well, you'll be able to do that. I know it's very, very simple. Okay, we've come to the end of this class. I hope it's very, it has been very, very interesting. Until I see you again on this channel, have a nice time. Bye.